Hearts had drawn 0-0 with Aberdeen in the first match of the new Craig Levine era. The Hearts bandwagon rolled into Hamilton to face an Aki side thumped 4-0 by Celtic last weekend. Just the one change to the Hamilton team, beaten 4-1 here by Celtic last Friday night. David Templeton starts against one of his old teams in preference to Stephen Boyd. Incoming for Hearts, wing-backs Michael Smith and Ashley Smith-Brown. Kyle Lafferty comes back into the team as well. Out Hughes, Randall and Cowie. Jamie Walker, nice nutmeg on Danny and McKinnon. Racing up on the overlap, Michael Smith. In for Callaghan. And Ross Callaghan. Bundles the ball in and Hearts in front inside three minutes. Well, Callaghan, the former Rafe Rovers midfielder, is living the dream. The Hearts fan scores his first goal for the club. Gajilak with the header, back it comes from Crawford. Hold up work from Templeton. Nicely built up for Bingham. And Rakish Bingham gets it all wrong. What an opportunity to level things up. Smith Brown. Gonzalez getting into a dangerous area. And it's a penalty given against Gondras. Hamilton protest. Bobby Madden's made up his mind. Got the ball, Scondras. Did he go through Gonçalves in the process? It's Kyle Lafferty, and that makes it 2-0. Midway through the first half, Hearts increased their advantage. And it's a sixth goal for Hearts for the Northern Irishman. Bingham losing out to Berra. Arno Zoom. Beaten by Doherty, no free kick, and Doherty shot, fizzes wide of target. Using body strength to get the better of Zoom, but not working the goalkeeper. Back from Skondras, Toma came off the head of Zoom, and Templeton away from Gorzilak, and Bingham! Breathes life back into the game for Hamilton. 33 minutes played. Good work from David Templeton onside Bingham. And this makes it 2-1. Gajilak wishing now. He'd gone for that with his head. But it's great setup play from Templeton. Not quite as comfortable as it was for Messrs. Levine and Daly. In from Ali Crawford. That's Templeton, a chance to make it 2-2, and that seemed to flick off the head of Arno Zoom and up into the gloves of McLaughlin. Ali Crawford's free kick, and Bingham had the chance to score again. Just needed glancing contact on the header, got too much. to Gamery. Here's Crawford bursting onto the ball. Wriggling his way into shooting position and John Suter in the right place at the right time for Hearts to make an important block as Aki's threatened to equalise. Doherty. In went Suter. But Templeton comes out with the ball. The nutmeg on Gajilak. And wrestling with Templeton was Callaghan there. Which left the referee with a decision to make. Should that have been a penalty? As Bingham leaves it to McKinnon. Boyd. That's a foul by Suter. And a flare-up off the ball between McKinnon and Berra. 
Suter booked for this challenge. It's Crawford! And John McLaughlin makes the save. And made it look pretty comfortable. I'm really pleased with the, with the result. Um, it was a different game altogether from, from the one that we, we played in last week. Um, but this was typical of away matches in the, in the SPFL. And uh, if we want to climb the league table, particularly in this period of time when we're playing away for home a lot, then we need to win these games. And we won it, so I'm pleased. I don't think it's a penalty. You know, I said that to Bobby at half-time. Bobby was adamant there was a kick on the calf. When I see it back, if that's the case, I'll, I'll put my hand up. But based on how we played and how the game went, we should have won the game. I mean, at the very least, we should have taken something from the game. So to get nothing from it uh, is, is disappointing. Ross Callaghan with his first Hearts goal. He certainly enjoyed it. Michael, can you remember your first Hearts goal? Uh, well, you reminded me earlier on. It's given me a bit of time to remember it, yeah. At Pataudry against Aberdeen. How long ago are we talking? Well, I've been told me it was ten years ago in one month. You can't even remember yourself. Well, I can't remember the date. Was that no. a good goal? Yeah, it was not bad, eh? Huh? Eh? Was the Curled it in from the edge of the box. He watches it back all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, the most contentious part of the programme now. Been These looking forward to penalty it. decisions. <clears throat> it's going to be like trial by sports scene. What does the jury think? Martin Canning didn't think it was a penalty. Stephen? I think <laughs> that this is a penalty. Uh, and Michael obviously doesn't. Uh, when we get a freeze, Jamie Walker's head's in the way a wee bit here, but when we get the freeze from the different angle, That's embarrassing. you see Scondras's legs come round uh, Isma Gonsalves here, and that's what trips him up. All right, yeah. I mean, that's embarrassing, Tom. There is not enough contact in that for that to be a penalty. You heard Martin Cannon saying there was a kick on the calf. Scondras's legs in front of his. There's contact. Should this have been given? I think this is a penalty kick. I think Calicut. That's embarrassing as well. Pushes him to the ground. No. You look here. Temps actually Two hands on eventually him and pulls him down, pulls him down to the ground. No. Watch this from the next angle. The reason why Temps goes down is because he slips left foot there. Yeah, but that's what forces. You know, and I'll tell you why you've contradicted yourself here tonight, Tommo. Because Stephen Anderson, you said it was a goal against Dundee, right? It's all about yeah. the amount of force that's used. The reason that they've fallen down there, Temps, is not because of a push or a pull or anything like that. He slipped. It's the same amount of force when that was Stephen Anderson. Slipping, the same amount pushed to the well, ground. He's not got up. He's not up. He slipped in his bodies at that angle and no. gone down. And as for Gonsalves' one, there is absolutely no kick in a calf. There's a brush of legs. This is football. It's Does not, not getting tripped. It's not basketball Does we're he playing. Not get tripped, Mike. No, not at all. It's an embarrassing but decision. Temps isn't a penalty, and neither is Gonsalves. I think they're both. And you contradicted kicks. yourself. I've not. Well, Stephen Anderson is the same amount of force it's as those two instances. No, it's not. That is. Right, adjourned. The sports scene courtroom is adjourned. Let's talk about Jamie Walker. He was meant to be going to Rangers. He never went, Stephen. And the question was always going to be about his attitude at heart. Yeah, well, Craig Levine said his attitude in the last three weeks has been sensational. He's refocused his mind on football after the Rangers' interest. And he's such a big, big player for Hearts. He was outstanding last season. His contribution in terms of goals was incredible. I think he's a player that should be knocking on the Scotland squad door. Uh, that's how highly I rate him. You see all these, I mean, that's a wonderful touch and tight turn, uh, and losing those two players there. Uh, Jamie Walker does a lot of his best work in that central area, and it's about trying to find a formation and shape that allows him to get in that area of where a number 10, you would imagine, plays and has the biggest impact on the team. This leads to the, the goal from Calhoun here, and it comes from Jamie Walker's good play. They obviously have Gonsalves and Lafferty, who are two big strikers in the team, and then this formation allows Jamie Walker to play in that pocket and behind him, and that's when he's at his best. So you're both agreeing he did well? He did do well, yeah. That's the one thing that Tom was going to